In today's video, I'm going to share some of my minimalist camping equipment, some that I use for picnic and some that I even use in my everyday carry. To start this video, we have my new little camping carrying case. It's pretty small, it's cute. The measurements are here. It's about 27 liter volume. And it's not very big, but it's perfect because this is now going to be my go-to cooking camping equipment because I have another bin for gear, but depending on the type of camping I'm doing or even some picnics with friends, I'm not going to bring that entire thing. So I have a bin just for cooking and a bin just for extra camping gear. The reason that I got this bin is actually because you can store it from the top, very usual. You could use the top for a, another surface, which is super important whenever you're in a camping situation or a picnic situation. Surfaces and flat surfaces is very hard to come by. A lot of the times you need to get into your bin to grab stuff and with this little handy dandy door on the side, you can easily access some stuff in your bin so you don't have to take everything off and unload it, especially if you have things on the top. All of these products will be featured in the description down below as well with timestamps and buying through the links costs you nothing but gives me a little kickback which is a great way to support the channel so i appreciate that the first product i'm featuring is this little handy dandy one to two person matador blanket folds up very easily fits in a pocket it even has these little white lines in here so you have an easy reference when you fold and even has these little spikes that you can put into the ground so they don't fly off or move and for storage, little spikes go in here. It's waterproof and it's perfect for camping, picnic, and it's actually just perfect to have in your bag. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually make some coffee. And for that, we of course need fire of some sort to cook. For that, I have my Camping Moon spider stove. Comes with a little case. Then we have this with the stand. Very, very solid. Also has the, ign also has the igniter, little protective shield to protect your butane can just to be safe. Put some gas with the igniter. There we are. It's really strong, 3,300 watts. This on its own is super solid. If you wanted something more minimal, you can go with this. If you were a super lightweight backpacking camper, this would probably not be for you. That is not the type of camper I am. I also got this separately. It is from the same company and it's a great little table that you can put on like this. With the table, there are two little shields that you could put in here for protective cover against wind but I don't even need it right now. It's not very windy. This little baggie, it was on my own that I found this. Heat resistant and it's really high quality, really thick, really sturdy. This would be hard to bend. Not impossible, but pretty hard. It's nicely reinforced on the sides. And I've taken hot pots and put it directly onto here. It shows no signs of wear. I've also used this to put a little cutting board, chop some things, put a bowl on here, put a cup of coffee on here. I have my little fire maple heat exchanger pot 600 mils perfect little size to make one to two cups of coffee i've also used it to make hot soup and eat directly out of here this is made of aluminum aluminum is actually a really great material for camping equipment and cooking equipment because it is a great heat conductor so it'll heat up really quickly and it'll cool down really quickly which is pretty much what you want in camping and with this heat exchanger which is lots of little metal pieces to capture all the heat going into here it heats up really quick there are actually three indents so if you had a different type of stove for camping you could fit that in perfectly it's basically the same tech as a jet boil but it's a little bit more versatile and universal from a jet boil my favorite way to make coffee when I'm traveling on the go is with an AeroPress I keep it real simple no coffee scale and in my AeroPress I have this grinder, Easy Presso Q2S grinder. It's got a 38 millimeter burr, easy to grind. The only thing that I don't love that much is that the numbering system seems to go opposite of what I would think logically. Go coarser, the numbers get smaller and to go finer, the numbers get bigger. So it's a little confusing and I'm not sure why they did that. It's pretty opposite of every single coffee grinder I've owned. What I do instead is just look at the grinder and follow the rule of righty tighty which would make the birds closer together, which would be finer and lefty loosey. Once I figured out my grind settings for AeroPress, which is about 32 clicks to 40 clicks, I stay within that range. 
I'm good. I'm also not the pickiest when it comes to this. This Hitch water bottle. The reason that I got this is because it's a water bottle, which I always have on me. And it features a hidden cup. So if I wanted to go and get some coffee or some other drink when I go out, then I have that accessible. Although pretty rare that I go get coffee now um, because I make the best coffee. This ended up being fantastic for camping. I brought this canoe camping with friends recently. I have my water bottle and I have my coffee cup and it's a proper cup. Like it feels nice and sturdy. Let's boil some water and grind my coffee. Something that I really like with this cup is that they also have little lines on the inside so you can see how much water you're putting in there. We'll let that boil while I grind some coffee. Now when I'm camping or traveling, I'm really pretty imprecise when it comes to coffee. As long as I can get some good coffee, I'm happy. This is a Kenyan coffee that I got at a local roaster. I do a scoop. I use the AeroPress scoop. Last one. Very easy to grind. And what I love about this is that it fits inside the AeroPress chamber, which makes it really easy to travel with, takes up less space. And sometimes when I'm traveling, I have just a carry-on and a backpack. It's so easy to grind, actually, compared to my other hand grinder. And we're done. We'll take my cup out of my water bottle. There's a lid. There's little rubber. My water is already boiling. Not even done everything, which is perfect because we're going to let it cool down a little bit. So hopefully it'll be around 200 to 205 Fahrenheit by the time I pour it in. I have just under 300 millimeters here. Filter into the base of the AeroPress. It actually barely fits on this cup compared to other cups, but it'll fit. My ground coffee. Mmm. Pour it in until, let's go with number two. And I still have some water left over. While we're here, I just want to decorate my space a little bit. So I have this fairy light, which is great because it is retractable and easy to put back together instead of those little copper wires. I don't know if you've ever seen those. There is a little thin copper wire in the inside. It's covered. It has its internal battery that's rechargeable. You can actually use this while it's charging. Charge it with a wall plug, charge it with a battery bank. I use this all the time. I use it at home. I use it at a friend chalet. I use it camping, especially if you want to be able to find your tent easily in festivals, let's say, where you're going out and then come back late at night. And there are different modes. You could use this for just overall lighting. You have less lighting to save on the battery. You have flashing. We also have color LED. And then we have fade in, fade out. Warm light. And then we have a alternate light, the fade warm light, and then off. We got a lot of modes on this. So let's decorate my little space while I'm waiting for my AeroPress to finish. The best benefit of an AeroPress is how easy this is to clean. All I have to do is undo this, and then I just pop out the puck here with the spent coffee and then give it a quick rinse. I will do that when I have access to clean water and compost. Now I have my delicious coffee ready. So now I can finish with the rest of my video. This is double walled insulated too. Oh, it's hot. Now I'm hungry and I want to eat. Over here I have my one to two person, maybe even more cooking pot and pan. These three things together will cover my bases when I'm going out camping. Before this, I had a smaller one to two person item that I found on Amazon, but it was way too small. Hi, Olaf. Olaf, come here. Oh, and Doggy came to visit me. You came to say hi? Okay. Oh, you're just gonna sit here? Um, kind of uh, filming a YouTube video, so oh, okay. And off you go. I realized that the smaller ones are actually way too small and impractical to cook. Nope. Olaf, you can't sit in front of the camera and you can't eat my food. I'm sorry, buddy, you're gonna have to go. I didn't find that the smaller ones offered enough cooking space and it got really inconvenient. So this has a nice size. Everything retracts, you have little rubberized handles, protect your hands from the heat, tuck away. 
and they're easy to grip. It's aluminum, once again, great heat conductor. The only thing I would advise with this one is to be careful to not heat up too quickly because that could cause carbonization and then you get blackened food residue that is impossible to clean off um, stuck on your pan. And that actually happened to my last set because it conducts heat so fast. So you actually don't need to heat it up that fast and use enough oil so that you can avoid that. And this is a 1.5 liter pot with the heat exchanger as well. So you can boil up a bunch of pasta real quick and soup for one, maybe even three people. What I really like about this as well is that they have marking lines inside from 0.5 to, oh, my light went out, 0.51 and 1.5. We can fit a full instant noodle package without breaking it. And so you could easily cook instant noodle for, I don't know, three people. And you can also use it to pack two packs easily in here. 550 mils. So I can use the line in here as reference. Makes it super easy. And because it cooks so quickly, you also save on butane and you save on time, which is fantastic. I can use this pot as a lid to speed it up. And all right, it's boiling. We're gonna let it boil for a couple minutes. Put in the powdered soup. Ooh, it's hot. Add some protein. Got some green pepper I'm gonna throw in there as well. So how am I gonna eat this? Well, I have my foldable bowl here, but I'm actually gonna eat it straight out of the aluminum pot, but I'll be careful, of course. I was actually even able to drink soup straight out of the pot here when I made soup in here, but I just have to be a little bit careful. There is a lip here that is a bit less hot. I also have this Sea to Summit bowl, 600 mils, but filling it to the top is a bit rough. There's also little lines on the inside. Okay, I would say that's pretty much cooked. Now, if I wanted some extra spices, I also got this. This is a little bit big, so this may not be for everybody, but this is something that I would bring for a couple days camping, camping with friends. It's refillable, and then I put my own labels on there. In my wallet, this is also my one of my EDC items and one of my favorite items. I actually do use this all the time for camping. I have my utensils. This is the Go Sun Flatware. I have a full video on this. Cheers. Ooh, it's really hot. Hmm. There's a couple of more items. The retractable clothing line. You don't really need this, to be honest. You could absolutely go with something that is just the string. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just a nylon string if you're going real compact. Actually, this tree is a little bit big. I might have to hug it slightly. A bit more struggle city than I anticipated. Okay, here we go. There's a clip that's included. There's actually two clips that are included. There I clip one side here go around just to keep it secure make sure everything stays put and together and now we have a nice clothesline to dry bathing suit towels another item that i absolutely love is this pump here from flexigear flextail gear really tiny this is not only a pump it is also the opposite of a pump, a air sucker. So you can remove the air out of your mattress really easily so you can get it real nice and tight because getting those air mattresses back into the originally bag, it is difficult. And it also comes with a bunch of different attachments that you could use for various things in different combinations. And it is more than enough to do pretty much everything I can think of. I've used this on several occasions to also pump floaties. It is USB-C rechargeable, but not only that, also has lights. Two, three different strengths of light. Often the second is more than enough. And there's a little metal holder here that I could easily pop in and out. And I will stick this on the top of my tent and it will also be my tent light. So this thing is fantastic, two in one. For one trip, this is plenty enough for me to pump my air mattress, have light for a few days, and then use it at the end of my trip to take out air. I think on one trip, my friend also had to use it. So I ended up pumping air in a queen mattress three times and it was enough and then the battery died. So you have a power bank with you and you're able to fill up. Something else that has become my must have item, solar panel. So originally I want to get a solar panel battery bank. In theory, that sounds like a good idea. In practice, it's not. First of all, you don't want your battery to overheat. It's not good for it. Second of all, 
those solar panels are just not enough. And third of all, it's just better to have them separate in case something fails and you need to replace one part. And that way you're not tied to just having that power bank and with time the power bank is going to degrade anyway so i got this wonderful solar panel that's actually four big panels pretty much the size of an ipad honestly decent size and this thing oh my god it charged a lot you have three different outlets you have one fast charger usb a and then a usb c you have a little pouch you have hooks that you can stick it on your backpack if you're hiking to charge your electronics while you're hiking. But I did use a canoe camping for a three day excursion. And the other person I was with had, I think three different power banks, a bunch, but somehow over the weekend, they were out of batteries and they actually needed to use my solar panel. Whereas I only had one 10,000 milliampers battery and then my solar panel. I would recharge my power bank, but I would also recharge my electronics like my phone and all the various LED lights that I have with the solar directly into the electronic because I had so many outlets. That has been a game changer in my camping equipment. I'm so you just need good enough sun. Good to have a power bank or two on you as well. I think this one's only available in Canada. It's a small and portable table. It's also pretty darn cheap for what you get. It comes with a carrying case and a handle to hold or sling over your shoulder. It's easy to install with useful features like zippered storage with shelves and a place to hold a garbage bag. There's even a little magnet tab so that you can keep the door open. Bonus, it works great as a portable DJ table setup. Here I am DJing my friend's birthday party at a park. This light is small and portable. I usually just keep it in my pocket when camping. It has three light intensities with a red light as well as a glow in the dark ring so you can easily find it at night. So I always have it on me since it takes up no space. The only downside is that you can't really adjust the angle, but I just use my head or move it on my head to find the right spot. And because it's retractable, I can also sort of clip it onto other things. So that's a bonus. I wanted to showcase a couple of products that I felt were really more wow products maybe products you didn't think of or products i found were innovative so i really hope you appreciate this video please do like share and subscribe and what are some of your must have or innovative camping or picnicking products if you buy any of these i'd love to hear from you so share your experience in the comments below so i hope to see you in the next video bye for a list of my favorite everyday carries check out this video